is Ivan and in today's video we'll explore the world of harmonics and distortion which as always will be done in the context of a track. This time we have a pretty unusual but very much suitable one, a song by Kanye West called On Sight. If you listen to it you'll straight away hear the West Coast vibe characterized by the sound of a wave folder but there is something else to it. The main lead has interesting harmonics going on and the secret to it lies in the use of hard sync allowing you to maintain pitch and have a wide variety of tonality. All of this can be achieved using the Furza generator that we have over here by setting the carrier oscillator to hard sync and using the envelope to modulate its pitch, which I will show you when we start setting up the patch. As for the drums, they are very simple and consist of three voices, the kick, snare and hi-hats. What is interesting is how they interact with the main lead, at times ducking the signal and almost overloading the mix. This we will achieve by mixing in both the drums and lead into the ghost where we'll turn on the distortion and compressor to glue and destroy the mix a little bit. With the theory out of the way, let's start patching the drums first. Let's connect the first output of the drum track on the ground control to the kick drum on Queen of Pentacles. Then we'll connect the second output to the snare drum and the third output to trigger the sample hi-hat. Now, since we'll later on mix the lead with the drums, we'll need to use the Corporate One U mixer over here before we go into the Ghost. So let's connect the two outputs on the Queen of Pentacles to channel 2 on the Cockpit mixer. And then we'll be using a stereo cable to go from the stereo out on the Cockpit into the Ghost. From the Ghost, we'll go straight into Golden Master for some spatial processing and equalization. And from the Golden Master, we're going straight to our recording device. Now let's set the BPM to 100 and start creating the drum pattern. For the kick drum, we can enter the pattern using the SH-101 mode by pressing the record, setting the first kick and then three breasts. The snare pattern we can record on the fly. And the hi-hats as well. With the drums ready, let's set up the lead voice. As I mentioned before, we'll be using the hard sync option on the Furza generator to make the lead line. So let's flip the hard sync switch and patch the final output of the carrier oscillator to the squawk dirty filter. Let's patch the stereo outputs from the squawk dirty to channel number three on cockpit. <laughs> Let's mute it for now. Let's now connect the 0 to 5 volt output on the Airstreamer 4 envelope to control the cutoff of the filter and the squawk dirty. And let's connect the bipolar envelope output to control the pitch of the carrier oscillator. And let's connect the gate output from track number 1 on the ground control to trigger the envelope. When the carrier oscillator is set to hard sync, the pitch of the oscillator is following the modulator oscillator while the pitch of the carrier will be modulated using the envelope. So let's connect the pitch output from track number 1 on ground control and send it to the fish input on the modulator oscillator. Now let's unmute our lead voice and try to hear some sounds. <coughs> As you can see, we can control the amount of envelope using this attenuverter. This is the classic hard sync sound. Let's 
let's also saturate the signal a bit on the ghost. Now, before we start creating the melody for the lead line, let's talk about the ghost and what it is doing in this patch. In this patch, the idea is to use it as a final stage distortion and compressor. So let's turn up the distortion to the maximum and compressor to around 60%. Additionally, let's turn the volume up to the maximum to saturate the signal even more. The side effect of stacking two distortions and a compressor will result in higher noise floor, which is expected as it is done intentionally. The noise will not actually be audible during the playback and will add a lot of character to the sound. Now that you understand the whole signal flow, let's make the lead pattern. In this track, Kanye has two variations of the lead which are both eight steps long. The only difference between them is the extra low note at the start of the sequence. Let's record the pattern A, which will be the longer one, and pattern B as a variation without the first note. Let's make sure the pattern A is set to eight steps. And now we can fire up the sequence and start recording on the fly. Now let's make the pattern B. Let's switch it. Let's start the sequence and record it once again. can start playing around with the resonance. Now let's also add some compression on the Golden Master by enabling the three bands and also boost the low and mid EQ. And then we can go into the Fushia mode, which is the stereo image and also boost the mid and highs. Now we have everything we need to have a little jam, but let's quickly edit the drum part so that we could have transitions without the need to mute anything. Let's switch to pattern B for the drum track and create a new sequence. It will be identical to the first one, just without the hi-hats. So again, we will use the SH-101 mode for the kick drum. Now we can also lock the patterns by pressing the two arrow keys over here and change both the lead and the drum pattern at the same time. With everything ready, let's have a quick jump and tweak the controls to find the sweet spots. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and learned how you can use the hard sync option to create interesting tones out of your oscillators. Oscillator sync can be used to make trans leads, electro bass lines and many other types of sounds. And as always, the project file will be attached in the description. And if you have enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and comment if you have any questions. That is all for today. Have fun making music. I will see you next time.